I had a meeting that was scheduled for 5.45 p.m. this evening, um, but I'm gonna be back in this area uh, next week, so I actually rescheduled that meeting for next week when I'll be back. Two reasons I did that. Uh, number one, I had already hit my goal for the week and surpassed actually my goal for the week. That's not a good reason because that normally means nothing. Uh, I love to just, man, when I hit a goal, like that's when it's like overdrive. That's when it's pedal to the floor uh, and see how crazy we can make it. But um, the main reason was I wanted to be able to get home and see my family. This idea of work-life balance, we talk about it so much that work-life balance doesn't really exist. It's more about being aware of the imbalances. And I love, a friend of mine said this the other day, I was having lunch with a guy named Chris Collins here in Greenville, and he said, I don't really, I don't really believe in balance, but I, I believe in harmony. You know, people, when they talk about work-life balance, and as you mentioned, as you called it, work-life harmony, it takes sacrifice to have work-life harmony or to have you know, work-life balance. It takes sacrifice and you are sacrificing by waking up at four o'clock so that you can get what you need to get done so that you have time for the other areas of your life. And that's so awesome. So many people need that. I, the way I like to look at it now is just look at like, am I thriving in all the different areas? And so that may mean like, I don't need to work less if I need to spend more time with my family. I may need to sleep less. I may need to like hang out with friends less. I need to go to less happy hours. I need to go to less, you know, extracurricular activities, anything that's going on outside of work and family. Maybe I need to do those things less. But it, I think people use that as this crutch or this excuse to say like, you don't, you don't ever hear the conversation, you don't ever hear this conversation. Man, I've been crushing it at home this quarter. Next quarter, I'm gonna take it off a little bit at, at home and I'm gonna go like all in at work. Like that conversation doesn't exist. We make fun of the word balance, but it's being able to prioritize sure. certain things. So what's that looking like now for you? Yeah, we've always made fun of that balance because you and I both believe that some, that's just psycho babble for somebody mm -hmm. to be lazy. Yeah. Traditionally, that's how it's been yeah. used. Yeah. Um, now, when it comes to being a good dad, being a good husband, being a good friend, being a good, being good to yourself, um, your health, mm -hmm. you need to prioritize these things. They have to be prioritized. Um, you can't put that stuff on the back burner or and trade it all for your business because you'll just have a business and you'll be sick and die. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I promise you, I don't want to be sick when I'm 50 going, shit, I made a bunch of money and die at 51. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's, that's ridiculous. And so my perspective has changed a lot on that in that I take the same hustle that we take to business and I take that to, to being a dad. It's more harmony than it is balance. And to me, it's more recognizing the imbalances. It's more being aware when one area of your life gets out of balance and being able to then quickly, quickly adjust. The only way that you're gonna be able to quickly adjust when you notice those imbalances is through communication. Communication is gonna give your relationships the ability to let you know that things are out of balance if you haven't been aware of it already, but then it's gonna let you know how to adjust those things so that you can get back in somewhat of a balance. <music> 